Well, hey, I told you that I would go ahead and reveal the contents of the Nespresso Original Line Advent Calendar. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. It's got a lovely box. Now, I am going to start with day 24. So if you don't want to know what the special gift is, you better close your eyes and close your ears right now, okay? I happened to take a look at this because I thought, oh, if this is like some espresso cups or something, then I can start making my original line coffees in it. Okay, so I've got to tell you. Now, everybody has different tastes, right? whether it's in coffee or furniture, clothing, art, friends. Okay, this is what's in here, it's quite heavy. Okay, this is one of the Lume, I assume it's Lume or Lume collection, coffee mugs. It's very, very lovely. It's got a tapered rim and it's nice and shiny and kind of porcelain-like inside with a matte finish on the outside. Okay, so I contacted Nespresso to ask them about this cup and whether it is microwave and dishwasher safe because this little instruction book with cautions that it gives you is uh, kind of hard to tell just exactly what they're trying to say. So it turns out that it is dishwasher safe. It says up to 250 washes. <laughs> And it is microwave safe. After all, it is a porcelain cup and those uh, usually are microwave safe. And the only thing that, at least for me, might be a problem is that if it gets stained with lipstick, it recommends hand washing it uh, before you put it in the dishwasher. I can understand that because sometimes dishwashers will kind of set that lipstick stain in the cup. So Nespresso was extremely helpful uh, finding out all this information for me. And I suggested to them that maybe they start putting this on their website. So there you have it about the cup. I'm gonna go on and start opening some of the little doors, okay? So I'm gonna start with door number one. Okay, so. In door number one, we have Inspiracione Venezia. Let me, you know what? Can you see that? So I will read to you about that, okay? I have a little Nespresso book. I've also got my laptop open. I'll read to you from the laptop. Okay. Inspiracione Venezia, here we go. All right, this says, mellow, delicately aromatic coffee that will remind you of coffee beans fresh out of the roaster. This is a medium roast with an intensity of eight. Okay, fair enough. No, unfortunately, I'm not gonna brew every one of these right now. So that was number one. Okay, where is two? Here's two up here. This is World Exploration Stockholm Fortissio Lungo. Okay, so this is a Lungo 
which means it's going to be, I think, is it 3.7 ounces? That's different than on the Virtuo. Let's see here. Let me look for this. You know, there are so many different kinds of coffees on the original line. Let's see, that's Tokyo. Stockholm, here we go. Stockholm Fortissio Lungo, which is intense, full Arabica espresso, malty with a hint of rich bitterness and lively acidity. So I wonder, would it be in this book? This is a book that came from, I think, Bed Bath and Beyond. It was a freebie. Actually, somebody got it there and sent it to me, which I really appreciate. Okay, the Lungo is 3.75 ounces, okay? So, you know, you could always run it through twice if you wanted to, but um, this is going to give you, what, two and a half times what an espresso would? Okay, you know what? I was gonna do two a day. Let's go ahead and do a few more here. Number three. Okay, this is Master Origins Nicaragua. Okay, so let's see what this one. This is interesting to me because it's helping to give me an idea of the different kinds of coffees that are available in the original line because I mostly don't know very much about them at all. Here we go. Honey and sweet cereal, intensity of five, it's a light roast. Black honey processed Arabica, a nectarous coffee with smooth texture and sweet cereal notes. Okay, and let's go ahead and find number four. Where are you, number four? Here's number four down here. This is Inspirazione Ristretto Italiano. Oh, decaffeinato. Okay, so a Ristretto is, um, golly, that's even smaller than an espresso. It's 0 0.84 ounces, okay, so less than an ounce, and it says, Powerful and contrasting. Boldly roasted but balanced out by soft cocoa notes with subtle acidity and fruity notes. It's a dark roast. Did I say that? Yes. Oh my goodness. That sounds good to me. So let's see. Um, I'm going to be gone until the 14th of December, back on the 15th. Uh, should I go ahead and open the first 14? Ah, uh, why not? Let's keep going. So that was number four. Let's do number five. This is fun. What's fun is finding out what's in here, reading a little bit about it, but what'll be more fun is actually trying them. And of course, there's a lot more to read about each one of these on the Nespresso website. I'm just reading you the short little blurbs. This is, ah, uh, Inspiracione Napoli. This one is one I've already tried and done a review of. Really, really liked it very much. Okay, and <clears throat> where are you? Here we go. Dark and creamy. A velvety, creamy cup with an extremely thick body and pleasantly bitter cocoa notes and intensity of 13. I do like the more intense coffees. Okay, that was number five. So here's number six. This is World Explorations Vienna. Okay, Vienna, Vienna, Austria. Let's see here. World Explorations Vienna. And this is a Lungo, which would be 3.75 ounces, 3.7 ounces. <clears throat> Medium roast, an intensity of six, says round and smooth. 
This balanced blend of South American Arabicas is rounded and smooth with multi cereal notes. Quite a variety so far. All right, so number six, where's number seven? Where are you, number seven? Here it is. And this is Master Origins Indonesia. Okay, Master Origins Indonesia. So let's find that here. I'm getting a good um, idea of the different types of coffees or the different, I don't know, categories, I guess you'd say, by looking through the web page and trying to find, you know, is it a World Explorations, a Master Origins, or so on and so forth. Indonesia, tobacco leaves and woody. It's a... Uh, it's, this is an espresso, 1.35 ounces, an intensity of eight. It says wet hold Arabica with a rich velvety body, cured tobacco notes with tropical woody aromas. And if you wonder, you know, what in the world is uh, when it says, uh, let's see, where'd that go? When it says tobacco leaves, well, when I taste it, I'm going to pay attention so I know if they say that something, uh, you know, has a taste of tobacco leaves or tobacco leaf notes. <laughs> oh, no. All righty. That was seven. Number eight. This is Barista Creation Scuro. Okay, and I have tried the Scoro, and uh, well, let me look it up here. Now, I love the double espresso Scoro that is on the Vertuo, but this Scoro I have tried, and it said, and I didn't really care for it that much. It says roasted and balanced, it's uh, an espresso. Intense while beautifully in balance with milk. Delicate sweetness tempers its intensity. Mm, you know, to each his own. You just got to try and see what you like. Okay, that was eight. Number nine. There's number nine. Inspirazione Roma. I tend to like these Italian coffees. Let me find this one here. It is an intensity of eight. This is a ristretto, so 0 0.84 ounces. Full and balanced. Balance of strength, of roastiness, depth of woody cereal notes, and finesse of elegant aromatics. I'm going to have to read up on how you prepare a ristretto because uh, I'm not really familiar with that one. Okay. Number 10, into the double digits here. Oh, 10. Inspiracione Firenze Arpeggio. Oh, decaffeinado, wow. So I've had the regular Arpeggio and I liked it. Let's look at the decaf. Intense and creamy. Oh, this is a ristretto also. Dense and creamy with bold, roasty, and cocoa notes similar to the non-decaffeinated version. That'll be interesting. Okay, 11. 11. And no, I'm not gonna do the whole thing right now. I'm gonna stop after 14. Number 11, Barista Creations Vanilla Eclair. This is the one that I had this morning and I reviewed this morning. This one I remember has Colombian and Brazilian Arabicas and um, it has vanilla flavoring added to it. And it's a very mild coffee and it was very pleasant. I enjoyed it, I really did. Normally I like the more intense ones, but I had, I tried this as an espresso and then also as a latte. It was very good. 
Okay, number 12. World Explorations Tokyo Vivalto Lungo. So this is a 3.75 ounce Lungo. So let's find this here. World Explorations. Okay, flowery and complex, an intensity of six. Combines delicate flowery notes, refined roastiness, and a hint of fruit. Complex yet balanced. You know, what these descriptions are telling us does not include um, whether they're Arabicas or Robustas or what uh, area of the world the coffee was harvested, grown and harvested in, um, and how it was roasted. So all those things matter, but for right now, just to save time, we're going to skip over that. I'll get into that more when I taste the individual coffees, when I actually brew them. Okay, 13. Special Reserve Hawaii Kona. Oh, yummy. That ought to be good. I'm thinking that'll be good. Let's see, is this listed here? I don't even know if this is listed on here, but usually Hawaii Kona is, oh, here it is, limited edition, tropical and exotic. With, it's a medium roast with an intensity of five. Tropical and exotic fruity notes and fine citric acidity, all combined with a nutty cereal finish for a well-balanced cup. Ooh, now that description sounds yum. Alrighty, and now our last one for today, number 14. This is Master Origins India. Okay, and somebody who uh, I know who has been an espresso boutique barista told me, don't let the names of these influence how you feel about them. Read about the actual origins of each coffee, where it was grown, you know, how it was roasted and all that to enhance your decision-making processes about them. So this was India. Yes, India, here we go. Master crafted single origins. Woody and spicy, ooh, an intensity of 11. Robusta monsoon gets it uh, it's woody, spicy aromatics from monsoon robusta blended into Indian Arabica. Oh, interesting. Okay, so sometimes they are, some of these do give you what type of coffee was used to make it. I'm going to stop here. That's uh, windows 1 through 14 and also the cup. I hope you enjoyed our little preview of the Nespresso Original Line Advent Calendar.